click, click. Hello everyone, this is Take from BigHeadTalk.com and welcome to Renfrew Ravine and Renfrew Park in East Vancouver. I've been coming to this park since I was four years old when I first came to Canada. I grew up here, although as a kid, there were no fences. We just kind of like just jump into the creek here and play in this kind of semi dirty water because this this ravine this creek has now been incorporated into the sewage you know the water running off into the gutters but years ago there used to be trout fish going here this used to be like a um, a campground like a hundred years ago but it's still neat to have this ravine right in the middle of East Vancouver so this is my hood and I thought on my day off here with camera girl uh, shooting so hello camera girl that we would do a review of the Chrome, uh, it's part of the MXD line, and this is the segment. And I love this bag as a kind of a, a sling bag to use on my day off. And the reason why I'm using my iPhone, and I'm using a very specific app, which is the Movie Pro app, because it allows for Bluetooth microphones to be used. And I'm using my AirPods 2 to shoot this, because on stuff like this, shooting across a ravine, so camera girl, if you can go wide, you could see like I can't allow, uh, I have to either use the, a wireless lavalier or lavalier a separate microphone or I could use Bluetooth. Now I know that the, the sound quality is not as high as if I use the higher end equipment, but this is my day off. The camera girl won't let me lug around all my big gear. So thank you camera girl for letting us shoot on my day off. And I'm gonna come around to the other side. But yeah, I just remember hanging out here when I didn't even know how to speak English yet. And camera girl, are we still recording? All right, we're still recording. All right, so uh, so anyway, so I'm here, and now you can see this bag here. I think there's a smaller version of this bag. Now I'm five foot five, and so you can sort of see how a bag like this looks like on someone who's five foot five, and I've maxed it out. Like, in fact, I probably put in a little bit more than I probably would normally, just to show you how much you can put in here. And this is like a whole portable office that I can take with me even on my day off, and then still have a camera to carry around my neck here. And again, why I'm using this Bluetooth microphone is because as I'm talking to you, and then I can turn my back to you and you can still hear the audio. So that's the great reason why to use something like this. But now I'm gonna probably find a good place, show you what's in this bag. So let's, let's do that now, all right? All right, so we've moved to the playground section of Renfrew Park. And again, we're gonna just show you from the back now, I don't have the Bluetooth headphones on, so I'm gonna have to talk like this, but you can see how this looks like on my back. Maybe the view is better like this. But now I'm gonna just show you what's inside. I'm gonna just, uh, first of all, show you. So I'm gonna just put this down, and you can just see if camera girl, you can get a bit closer, or maybe I'll get closer. You can see, like, it's just a standard. This part here is metal. This part here is plastic. So it would've been nice if both sides were metal but then maybe it'll make too much of a clinking sound if both sides are metal but it's nice and solid and you basically pull this side to tighten up against your body and it comes with its own little elastic here so it keeps this side here from flapping around too much but this is pretty much how you let it go here this bag it's completely maxed out from here to here is probably about six inches or just under six inches this way and across here i like just the overall build quality of this bag and i like the the, the feel of the the material i it would have been nice maybe if it had some kind of a webbing back here to keep your back if you if you tend to get a sweaty back uh, this you just gotta remember there's nothing here and there's no padding on the back but i think the reason why i did that is just to keep to make sure there's enough room inside here while you have everything in here. So let's, uh, I'm gonna just kind of sit up. Now these two outer pockets is probably the, the section that sticks out the most. So you could put in thicker things. So let's start off with the left side here. So in here I have my Leatherman uh, multi-tool. This is actually the big one, the big, the big guy uh, with the titanium handles and it has a, a diamond hone on here. So this here and then I have my Rico GR1 film camera. And in here, this actually has kind of like a nice little felt pocket. So anything that might scratch easily, you could put in here. So probably it's meant to put your smartphone and it would easily fit uh, an iPhone. Uh, I don't know, I wish camera girl, do you have your iPhone 6S handy that you can just grab? No, but anyways, I think a 6S should in here. I'm not sure if a plus size will fit in here. 
maybe it will I don't know but even on the outside here it's this nice little plush kind of a felty kind of a material so anything that scratches easy anything with a screen you put on the left side here okay now on the right side it's a little bit different this is a the side they want you to put your keys so here I have my keys attached to this little built-in key holder and then I have my my RAV power um, this is like a, a, a battery SD card uh, it creates its own ad hoc Wi-Fi connection so if you want to attach if you want to put SD cards and transfer them to your iPad you use something like this and I could do a, a complete video just on this unit but this is great to have with you all the time and then this little webbing here is where you could probably put loose things so I have a little mini tripod and just an extra roll of film and then that's it for this side I'm gonna just leave the keys in here so that I won't have to pull it out now the first section here so you can see here there's three zippered sections now this front section is probably the biggest section that you could put the most in it looks like it's maybe about two and a half inches you could put stuff that that thick so what can fit in here I have my sunglasses case right here that I'm wearing right now and probably the thickest thing in here which is still pretty thin are my Sony uh, wireless Bluetooth headphones these are the uh, WH-1000 XM3 so these are the, the, the popular really well done uh, noise canceling headphones so this will fit nicely in here but you have to remove the case and then I have my and I showed this before my max Pedition, my little micro pocket this is kind of like I carry this everywhere with me I have a pen I have some twist ties I have extra cable I have another battery pack I have another multi-tool my little Leatherman um, juice S2 in here and then in here I have uh, just plug-in ear pods and all my dongles all my dongles since I am an Apple user and then I have a, uh, a review camera so I have a film point-and-shoot and then I have a digital point-and-shoot that will both fit in here um, full-size cameras will not fit in here if it does it's you have to remove the lens if you have a full-size camera so, so that is in here so that's all just in this front compartment nothing fancy there's no pockets or anything in here it's just sort of like the, a big one open area and then the one section behind this one is where I fit my iPad 10.5 Pro in here and then in here you also have two two pockets in here so in here I put my wireless Bluetooth keyboard which I love great keyboard I'll put all the links down below too as well a lot of these things are from Amazon and as well as this uh, little uh, iPad or iPhone stand that you can use it's it folds flat and it fits inside here so and that's the inside of this mid section so big open space a little bit less open but it has two little pockets and then finally this is the last back section that I have and this is where I kind of mentioned there I mean it is a little bit padded here just a little bit more than in between these compartments but not enough that if you put something hard or odd shaped back here you you'll feel it against your back but this is where I put my my wallet my change pouch and then my little mini mini case and often people maybe most people will choose to put these things in the front pocket okay, so that's fits in the back here and then just a notepad and now other than my keys that I showed you initially this bag is completely empty there's nothing in here and this pretty much folds down pretty flat in fact if you wanted to you could probably even fold it down like this and so this is a great travel bag as well if you travel and you want to have something on you when you're on a plane or on a bus and you have your main bag kind of above that's great or if you pack this in with your travel bag and then when you need to go light uh, say you're going out for dinner or just a light walk or a bike ride or, or a skateboard you can take this with you and just kind of sling it around your back but you saw total camera if you can come through here you can see all the stuff that I that I was able to throw in here other than this camera but these all these things fit inside and maybe I'll just kind of do a quick uh, loading everything back in and I'll just do a um, but I'll put it all back in very quickly, all right? So let's just let's just do it. And finally, Mariko GR1. This. And there you go. So that was kind of sped up, but that took me like 
camera girl, a minute and a half, two minutes to put that all back in. Now this is all back again, maxed out. You don't have to do this, but that's a lot of stuff. It doesn't look like you can carry that much, but you definitely can. So that is my first sort of a what's in my bag using this chrome segment bag. I really like it. I think if you are a sling bag kind of guy and you want something medium size sling, this one here, it's enough to carry like a little portable office, but you do have to carry like, for instance, if you have a water bottle, it won't fit in here. Uh, big cameras like this won't fit in here. Interchangeable lens cameras won't fit in here. Those kind of things, you have to kind of carry it on the outside. So this is a lighter bag and that's why I use it on my day off. So thank you so much, Camera Girl. Coming to you again here from Renfrew Park here. I went to, let me just go down there. That's like my, my, my old school. And this is my hangout and my mama house is just over there. So thanks so much for watching guys and we'll talk to you soon. Happy shooting. Click, click.